When last we left our intrepid hero, he had formed a cube, and now he was trying to make drawings, which was challenging. But he did make an exploded view. Let's see if we can find the exploded view. Hey, look, exploded view. And I think it's right there. So there's the exploded view. Yay, done. Bye. And go back. Now, we have a very challenging issue. We need to make a, a bomb, bill of materials. I like to put the part number in, but I'm not going to because they have the item numbers now. But I'm going to put it in for a different reason in a minute. Quantity is one of each. Great, wonderful. And description. Uh, maybe we'll put in description. So how do we get them in there? Well, we got to go back. All right, so I go back to piece one. We go over here, and I properties it. All right. And it's called part one, and I call this the green S, and it's part one, just said that, and vendor project, I suppose I could put all that in, but I'm not going to, uh, I want to keep it in, I want the unit of measure in, I should do it, apply, close. So let's go back to my assembly and check out my bomb, and it's, oh no, listed as part two. Uh, it hasn't been updated here, which is upsetting, to put it mildly. Uh, that's the one in the back. It's the green one. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, click on green. It says it's this one here. Uh, it has not updated. It should have. But that should be part one. So let's drag it and put it up to part one. Now it's part one. How do I get the sucker to update, I wonder? I wonder if I hit this. If when I keep bringing it back, it would update don't have any of that going. I wonder what happens if I hit this. Could be a big mistake. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Didn't update. Uh, oh, that's because they're all called part one. So it did update, but I have to fix them all. They're all called part one. Well, that was silly. So anyway, let's fix them all. This is... Part two, description, uh, this is my purple L. Part number, part two, just said that. And I don't think I need to do anything else. Apply, close. Let's take a look at the assembly now. Part one, part two, let's do one more just to make sure we're all on the same page. Right click here, properties, Part three, and I know that because I called it part three, piece three, but that's close enough. Yellow T. Part three. Apply. Close. So now when I look at my bomb bill of materials, it is part one. Part three. Part two doesn't show up, meaning I missed it when I did it. Part one, part two. Oh, it's not in order which is weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one of my parts, which I think I deleted accidentally earlier on how to bring it back to life. If I right click over here, I don't want to exclude. That's what I did by accident before. Show excluded. Ha! Include. Woohoo! I'm on a roll. Part two. Now, why is part three there? Because it's out of order. So. Go through and make them all one through four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drag it up here. Now it's in the right spot. Now I'll be honest, I think this is a redundant column. I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, not till I'm done labeling all seven, but for me, I'm done. But I will keep the description. I'm happy with that. And you're probably like, big deal? Why are we doing that? Well, when we finally create a drawing, Using my custom title block. Oh, yeah. The first one would be piece one. All right, so we put in piece one. Why is it out of order? I have no idea. And yeah, that one. And here we go. I am going to move things over a bit. And it's doing that whole thing where it gets weird on me. And 
and my asymmetric. Now I'll do this whole whole thing. Actually, this one doesn't have the bill of materials, so I'm going to move things over a little bit. And now I have to delete that because I'm an idiot. Turn that off. Click on that. Delete it. Okay, grab this and drag it over. Grab this and drag it even further over. Bring it back a little bit. Bring it up a little bit. I got plenty of room. I can actually put a BOM in here um, up top, but I'm not going to. Uh, hidden lines. No hidden lines there. Hidden lines, but it's going to not show because it's on top. And here's the one that got me. I want it to be in color. There's nothing here about color. Thought there was a way to do this. Well, learn something new every day. Try the right click one more time. Tangent. Oh, there it is. Man, I'm blind. That's why I was just getting at. I can't find the doggone thing. Oh, it's under show shaded view. What does shaded mean? It means in color. So definitely have that in color. All right. Dimension. Um, I would do all the dimensions. And yeah, I think that's it. Got the part number. Drawing one file name. We should have a part number down here somewhere. So you might want to fix your title block so instead of project title, it says right in the project title. All right, you are going to get dinged for that. I want everything done right on this. And then, of course, like I just said, dimensions. All right, so, hey, we're going to do here to here. Got to make sure it's the right decimal places, which I didn't bother. Here to here. We're going to nest it. Good. And so on and so on. All right. Got to fix that, make it 0.5 or make it one half inch or 0 0.8 or whatever you feel like doing. Uh, it's only one, two decimal places, I think, is all you need. So there we go. Now I need another sheet. All right. So go up here and hit another sheet. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven pieces. The eighth, we are going to put in an assembly. So insert. I should say eight of eight down here. We set that up nicely. Um, by the way, notice my PLTW is off. I have to fix that. So insert assembly. It's to the right here. Holy cow. This is so complicated. All right. And I'm going to make it smaller. We are going to do all the views. I'm going to do one here. We're going to do one here. We're even going to do one here to show the back. It's not letting me, but that's okay. I'd spray, spread these out a little bit better. I'm not showing hidden lines on any of these. I'm just going to do all of this. And then I'm going to make them all viewable. Turn this off. If I can't drag and drag over all of them, uh, shade the views on all of them. Show shade of view. Notice it's taking its time. I have a tendency to get very impatient and click all the time. Big mistake. I probably should not have picked them all. I should have done them all one at a time. Hey, look at that. It worked. It's even got a light source in there. You can turn that off if you're smart and figure it out. I'm not that smart. So pretty cool. Um, anyway, we added another sheet our exploded view. This took me a while to figure out. And by the way, we might want to fix our title block. My PLTW bounced down for God knows what reason, so I should fix all of those. And yeah, the rest looks good, but I would change project title. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let us put in a view. Same one we want the uh, assembled view. We want the blow up view. I think it's going to have to go one to two, so I'm going to fix that now. We go here to assembly, we leave it, we go to front, we go to ISO exploded view. You remember I saved it like that. Nothing. Man, what the heck? I actually have to hit explode one, which is insane. But okay, whatever they say. All right. So there it is, our exploded view, which I used to have a better one of. I don't know what happened to that one on the left. It's extremely annoying, so I would go back and fix that if I get a chance. Uh, although it's doing a view, so it might not fix. I would 
definitely make this a shaded view. I would slide it over as much as I could reasonably do. And then we put in the bill of materials up here. I want one that pegs in the top right. And notice I pulled out part number because it's got item number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Quantity, one, 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 one. I wonder if I can mess with this. Hmm. Ha, I don't even know you could do that. So I would do that one too. The quantity one sounds silly, but it's actually kind of important. Notice I didn't finish my descriptions. You should have those in there. And then, not last, but least, or no, wait, I got that backwards. You get the idea. You get to put the little arrowheads in, which I'm sorry, it's just fun. Click. Okay, maybe it's not that fun. What happened to my arrowheads? You go away, I don't like you. Oh, I missed. Got to catch it. There we go. You got to make sure you hit the, uh, the side. All right, so it will tell you where each one is. I remember last year we made a big deal. It should be a horizontal line and then cuts over the number. Yeah, what a waste of time. So they're all numbered. And by the way, this orange yellow thing is making me nuts. So please don't do that. Do a good job. Even if you have to go back and redo a couple things, it's not the end of the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one is green. Nice. Two is purple. Nice. Three is yellow. Nice. So we've got them all labeled and exploded and shown all the views. And then you can bounce around here through your sheets. Hey, I forgot to finish sheet two. Go finish sheet two. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. All right? But that's a whole project for you. It's, it's good. It's real good. Pretty pretty happy with it. Give you a chance to do some, uh, some good stuff. Why did this all shift down? This is shifted down too. Oof, I'm going to have to fix every single one of my drawings when I come through. But that's okay. And, uh, yeah, you might want to update your title block, your custom title block to... Uh, to have a part number or a project title or figure out how to put the project title in or maybe that's over here like I was saying uh, where you can update here there's a project title in here I think name part number revision state project I think maybe if I put it here it would show up I'm not sure um, I could probably do that how do I get out of here probably do that here in the assembly I wonder if that would work no that's the mate features Properties under assembly one, projects, some uh, cube, apply, close. Now, I don't believe I actually set this up to work. Yeah, so it definitely did not. Let's see if it makes a difference. Well, we're not in the assembly, so it shouldn't. Wow, taking its time. Let's see if it does down here in the assembly. Sheet 8 or Sheet 9. Oh, I'm in there. So, yeah, I didn't set a product, so I'd have to go back and fix that. Unless. Nah. Well, we can always figure that out. You can always write it in. Just double-click on there. Whatever. Again, fix all that. Notice the scale is right. Your bill of materials looks good. It's a big project. Good luck.